Hello my friends, it's Stephanie and it's a rainy Saturday morning in Tacoma so I thought I'd come and give some results of round two, P2 of my weight loss journey, HCG. So I am very excited to announce that so far in this round I am a VLCD number six, I am down 11.4. So my goal has been all along this round is to try to make it as good as last round. The reason why is because I love a challenge and so many people have said round two is the worst round and you never do as good as you can on any other round as you did on your first round. Your first round is the best round. Your first week is your best week on HCG. So I am trying so hard to like, you know, um, trample those myths. I want to be a myth buster about rounds, which one's better, which days are better. I believe, yes, your first week may be your, your best releases, but I'm not ruling out the fact that if you really do use the hunger scale, that that might not happen that way. So I have not been very successful at using the hunger scale and I'm not sure that P2 is the greatest place to be practicing the hunger scale because I personally am one of those people that pretty much eats almost all the food. Meaning for lunch I have the bread, I have the fruit, I have the protein and the vegetables. So I am an advocate on eating all the food, especially if you are hungry. Um, if you aren't hungry, yeah, that's another thing. But at the same time, I don't know. I just, I feel like my body needs it if I feel hungry. So I'm definitely going to go for it, you know. This round is very different from last round for me because last round I was very legalistic about Dr. Simeon's protocol and I did not even mix vegetables. Well, after watching my coworkers and seeing, for example, Myra's exciting, delicious, a picture of her dinner with her mixed vegetables and then watching Robin of Weight Loss Apocalypse say something that mixing vegetables isn't a problem and I was talking to my husband about it last night and I said I mean like okay so if you mix vegetables your body's gonna say oh my gosh you're on HCG you mix vegetables now you're not gonna lose you know so I'm sure yeah Sure, your body's not that smart, you know, and it hasn't read the manuscript, you know. <laughs> so anyway, it's kind of funny how we think, you know, if I don't follow this perfectly, it's going to, you know, nose dive. But I think there are things like mixing vegetables that as long as you keep it to the two cups, you should be fine. So I don't even know where that two cups came from because it, Dr. Simeon's protocol does not say how many vegetables. And so the new people that I'm assisting with this protocol are asking me that question. And I said, yeah, it doesn't say that, but you know, most people say two cups, so I'm just going with what I hear people say. So, um, I wanted to talk to you about my losses because some people are, um, you know, just comparing how they are doing or whatever. So, um, and I don't think we should compare to each other. I think it's better to compare to yourself and your other rounds if you want to. Like Toy had a really good point. She didn't want to compare them because it's like comparing two different children, <laughs> you know, which I thought was cute. That's a great point. But I do want to compare mine because I just want to see, even though this is my last round, possibly, um, I want to see if, if even when you get down to the last of your abnormal fat, if you really do slow down or if I will really slow down, not that other people, you know, aren't doing it right. So that's why they slow down. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, this is how good I did on my first round. Why can't I do that well on my second round? So I want to see if that is possible or if there's something to the fact that, you know, if you're pretty much perfect on protocol outside of mixing vegetables, of course, um, why can't you lose as fast? So, um, anyway, that's my thing. So anyway, I also wanted to talk about, so let me go to my numbers. Sorry about that. I get a little on rabbit trails here, sidetracked. So on VLCD2, I released 4.6. Now, remember, I gained eight loading. So, you know, I try to do a really good job on this whole protocol. So I think I loaded like a champ. Anyways, so, um, don't want to brag or anything, but I can load. So anyway, day three, uh, released two. 
Day four, slowed down quite a bit, 0.6. Day five, slowed down, 0.4. Day six, which is this morning, sped way up to 2.8. So I'm five foot nine and I am 165.4 this morning, which is absolutely amazing to me. Um, but like I've told some of my friends at um, work, so many people are starting this. Two new people just started yesterday, by the way. Um, but like I tell them, with this protocol, with HCG, you know what? You can get a perfect body in the end. And you can maintain that perfect body. And there are so many before and after videos to prove that right here on YouTube. So I believe that. So altogether, I have released 11.4. I think I said that. But if you subtract my eight pound load, then I have released just around four pounds because um, of since my LIW. But I've only released 3.4 since I started loading because I was below my LIW. So Anyway, just think that's kind of interesting, but I'm not going to put a lot of weight into the fact that um, what did I do last round as far as and, and where did I catch up. I'm saying this is a different round. I'm starting from the beginning of what my load weight was, and I'm doing it just like I did before as if this is a whole different animal, and I'm not going to count you know, where I should have been, blah, 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 garbage. I think I'm just going to count like I did VLCD2, this is what I lost, three, this is what I lost, you know what I'm saying. So um, anyway, I wanted to talk about a video that my husband and I watched on YouTube. Um, it is, um, I can't remember the title of it, but it's something about what does five pounds of fat look like. So in this video, this lady showed that five pounds of fat was like this huge, humongous yellow thing, you know, and, um, and there's pictures too. You can just Google pictures of what five pounds of fat looks like. Then she showed what five pounds of muscle looked like, and it was like this little dark muscle looking thing. Big difference, big, big difference on uh, what it, how, what size it is and how much it weighs. Then she said, now here is 16 ounces of water and she held up a water bottle and she said, if you weighed before you drank that 16 ounces of bottle of bottled water, you would be one pound less before you drank it. So quit putting so much value into the scale. And I thought that was really good because, um, you know, some of my coworkers are starting to slow down. They're starting to, you know, feel like they're on stalls because a few days the same weight, whatever. And um, I just tell them that how do you know you didn't just drink more water the day before that didn't really release? How do you know that's not just an extra bottle of water that is causing you to be a pound up today. We don't know that. So that is where I think that Robin is really right about the scale as well and about trusting your body and um, your, you know, that it's quit putting so much on the weight. So I am trying to do that as well. But I will tell you some exciting news that um, I just can't believe. Okay, so Dr. Simeon says that you can, that, that with the work with HCG and the protocol, that you release abnormal fat. I believe when I am done with this, I will not have cellulite. And you know what? I started with massive cellulite, but you know what? The amount of cellulite I have now is unbelievably less. So I am just amazed at, this is true. I believe abnormal fat is going away. I have so many muscles showing in my legs because I used to be a long distance runner and I have done a lot of exercising, you know, regularly at lunch where I climb this hill, you know, and it's really steep and I've done a lot of hiking with my husband and you should see my muscles in my legs showing up so much. Unbelievable. My calves are unbelievable. So we're losing fat real fat that should not be there and our bodies are getting reshaped this is like better than any liposuction i mean i can't believe the muscles in my stomach that show you saw my before and after pictures it is a miracle so that's all i wanted to say just want to make my goal 
public that I want, I believe I can do as good on my second round as I did on my first. Love you all. Bye.